Brad from MaggardRazors.com here. Today we're going to be taking a close look at an excellent razor for the more experienced wet shaver. The Mula R41. Mula is a company that's based in Germany and they've been around since 1956. They're known for their beautiful yet functional designs. The R41 is an open comb head that is made from chrome plated die cast zinc alloy. You're going to have a few options when it comes to handles. There are three acrylic options with our favorite being the Faux Tortoise R103, two standard sizes in chrome and rose gold, and finally the larger sized Grande, which comes in chrome. The acrylic handles weigh in at 1.8 ounces, the chrome at 2.4 ounces, the rose gold at 2.5 ounces, and the Grande comes in at 3.3 ounces. Compared to the rest of the market, this gives you a nice range of weight to choose from with the largest deviation from average being the acrylic options. Now the handles of these razors are actually a chrome plated brass, so as long as you don't let a lot of soap scum build up, they're gonna last years and years. Um, the heads are zinc alloy, and so there's always that possibility that if you dropped one that the threaded rod could snap. Um, chances are pretty low, but in the situation where you have a little mishap, there are some vendors out there that are selling the top caps for these razors for a relatively inexpensive price. We give the R41 razors a 6 out of 10 on build quality. Now as for fit and finish, Mula, as usual, knocks it right out of the park. The chrome is bright, shiny, and flawless on both the handle and the head. The blade also fits extremely well, with very minimal play. We give the fit and finish on the Mula R41 razors a 9 out of 10. Now there is some gorgeous patterning cut into the handles, and this does offer a bit of additional grip compared to smooth handles, but the patterning is more about aesthetics than it is grip. We rate the grip of the metal R41 handles a 7 out of 10, but if you're considering one of the acrylic models, we might need to dock a point. Now the R41 is an open comb head, and so it works great for people who don't shave as often, say every two or three days. In addition, this is a particularly aggressive design, and so it's very, very efficient at cutting hair. The R41 head doesn't curve the blade quite as much as more popular razors like the Edwin Jagger DE89. This means the angle at which the blade touches your face is going to be more aggressive. When we compare it to the DE89, holding both razor handles at 45 degrees yields a cutting angle of around 34 degrees with the R41, compared to only 23 degrees from the DE89. In addition, the edge of the blade kind of just sticks out there and the teeth fall away beneath it. It's a bit intimidating for your first few shaves. If you are looking for very, very close shaves with very few passes, this razor may fit the bill. That said, poor technique is going to be met with nicks, cuts, and irritation. This is definitely not a razor for a beginner. We give the R41 head an 8 out of 10 on the aggressiveness scale. When the R41 was originally released, it was even more aggressive than it is today, but a redesign in 2013 put an end to the bloodbath. So the only thing that you're going to be finding in any current day retailer is going to be the 2013 version. When it comes to value, the price of the R41 varies depending on where you live. That is one thing that frustrates us about Mula. Their retail prices in Europe are less than their prices in the US. In the US, the R41 retails for $56 to $75, depending on your handle preference. But if you're in Europe, expect prices closer to the $37 to $50 range. That's 50% more just for living in the United States. Based on the fit, finish, build quality, and price in the United States, we give the R41 a 5 out of 10 for value. If you're a seasoned wet shaver and you want to mow through a week's growth in a pass and a half, this is probably going to work well for you. It's not a beginner razor though, and we can't stress that enough. Setting aside the aggressiveness and summarizing the R41 based on its average build quality, spectacular fit and finish, adequate grip, and average value for the dollar, Maggard Razors rates the R41 open comb an overall score of 6 out of 10. Thanks for checking out our review. Make sure you check out the R41 at maggardrazors.com and subscribe to our videos if you'd like to see more reviews like this.